Hello there and welcome to MCI Studios. I'm Pippin Henderson and today we are answering a question uh, by uh, Free Media Worldwide and um, the question was how have you set up your audio devices and how have you routed them via the track and bus settings? Okay, so let's deal with the first uh, the first part of that question. How have you set up your audio devices? Okay, so let's come inside Sonar here and we're going to click P. This is going to bring up the preferences box. Now what we've got here is um, or rather the devices, the audio devices that we have here. We have our input drivers and our output drivers and what we have essentially here are all the sound cards that we have installed on our computer, our system, and they are uh, what we have enabled on our computer. Um, and this section of the preferences here um, lists them all, lists all the inputs and all the outputs capable from those sound cards. So, what we have in the input section here is my Sound Blaster uh, XFi sound card, which I have currently unchecked, and my USB audio codec, audio, audio codec, which I do have checked. In the output drivers, I have a few more Sound Blasters and my USB. And you'll notice I only have my USB audio codec selected in both my audio um, in, sorry, in, in both my input drivers and my output drivers. Now what my um, USB audio codec is, is my Multimix 8 USB mixer. And what that essentially is, is a sound card uh, on its own. So what it's actually doing is running um, my sounds uh, that I record into Sonar purely through this, this, multi, uh, this Multimix 8 USB mixer. Uh, I use this purely for sonar. Um, all other sounds, such as window uh, windows noises um, and anything that basically runs outside of sonar, uh, it goes through a different sound card. I use my Multimix 8 USB purely for sonar, which is why I only have these two selected in the devices. So the first thing you need to do, uh, first thing to look at is look at do you have your chosen sound card selected in the input drivers and the output drivers in audio devices in the audio devices section here once you've established that click apply come down here to driver settings and select the devices you've just chosen in the playback and the recording timing masters um, and depending on what you've just clicked will depend on what you can drop down here and select. I have playback timing master is my USB and so do I and so is my recording timing master. They're both the same thing because they're both my mixers. So basically my guitar goes into my mixer and the sound goes into my computer and records it. And then when I want to play it back it goes from my computer into my mixer through my headphones and into my ears. So it's all being routed through my one mixer, which is why I have them selected here. And then if we come down, once you've done that again, of course, click apply, then come down here to playback and recording. Now, <laughs> driver mode. This is touching on a subject that he, that he or she mentions um, in their comment about ASIO drivers. Um, yes, it's, it, yes, they said, I read that it could have something to do with ASIO drivers. Well, if you come here to driver mode, you'll notice ASIO is here. Now, if your sound card does not support ASIO, you can download a driver called ASIO for all. And that's A-S-I-O, the number four, and then A-double-L. Click that into Google and download the drivers and that will enable a sound card that doesn't support ASIO to go through that program, the ASIO for all program, and then be able to select ASIO in whatever 
chosen recording software you uh, you have running. And what ASIO is is a very low latency recording uh, application. It basically, allows you to record uh, audio in very low latency. Now, if we come back here to driver settings, you'll notice that we have a latency setting here. Now, what latency effectively is is the time it takes the sound to get from the source to the computer. So if I pluck a string on a guitar, it's the time it takes that sound to leave my guitar and enter the computer. So basically, the faster the latency, the better. It's also known as zero latency, which means there is no delay between it leaving and the sound arriving. Um, so if you have, if, if you're uh, recording a vocal and you're singing into a microphone, and the microphone is feeding back, or the microphone is replaying the sound that you've just said. So if I say hello, and then a few seconds later you hear you hear the voice back saying hello, that means you have a latency issue, and you need to try and speed it up. There's a delay between the sound going through the microphone and entering the computer. So the faster the latency, the better. And ASIO is a good driver to use for low latency. What I use is w WDM. Um, it's also what Sonar recommends if you look in their help section. It, they recommend WDM. If you can use it, use it. Um, I have ch I have tried ASIO for all, and it is very good for what it is. But I've no problem with WDM, so I, I stick with I stick with the default. Um, you can't really go wrong. Click each one, click apply. It'll run through some diagnostics, um, see what your sound card is capable of doing within that driver mode, um, and if it doesn't work out, then just switch back. So keep on. Basically, just go through them all and see which one which one uh, runs best um, for your computer and for your chosen sound card. Once you've done all that and you've decided which one you want to do and you've chosen all your devices, all your devices are selected here. You've chosen them and you've you've um, put them all in the playback and the recording timing masters. You've dealt with your latency. You've chosen your uh, your driver mode. You're going to click apply and you're going to click OK. It's going to ignore that, ignore that, there's nothing to do with it. Um, it's going to apply all those settings. And then what you need to do is come here, if, you, if it hasn't done it automatically, it might do this automatically. If it doesn't, you need to come to the ins and outs section. And you want to make sure that if you're not routing through a bus, that all your tracks in the output section here say the sound card that you have just selected in the preferences. So in my case, it would be the USB audio codec. But I don't want to do that because I actually have all my tracks here routed through this bus here. And to answer another question from Free Media Worldwide was how to route, um, what was our, um yeah, how have you routed them via the track and bus settings? Okay, so we've selected our in, our input and our output set, our, our inputs and our outputs in the preferences set, uh, window. Now we need to, um, if you're going if you're going through a bus, I'm I'm assuming that you, you want to use buses here. Um, so you want to, if you haven't got a bus here. Right click in the bus pane, insert stereo bus, it'll bring up the, one of these here, bring it up, and then come to your tracks that you want to be routed through this bus, click and drag if you want to multi-select, drop down one of the output uh, drop down menus here, come to selected track outputs click that and then in this box come down to audio outputs and select whichever bus you want those tracks to be routed to click that 
and click OK and that will automatically assign all the tracks you have selected to that bus and then go to the bus you've just routed all those tracks to and in which in this case it's bus 1 and make sure that the output on that bus is the sound card okay that you have running in sonar so basically what we've got here is the sound is being recorded on these tracks and then the sound before it goes through any speakers before it comes out of any speakers the sound is coming from these tracks it's being diverted to this bus and then from this bus to the speakers that's essentially um, the audio path that it, that's been taken here it's being recorded from the mixer into the track and then from the track to the bus and from the bus to the speakers okay and if you're not using a bus make sure that all the outputs in all the tracks say your sound card and then when you record and when you play back you'll be able to hear it um, I hope that answers the question I don't think there's anything else um, as far as Guitar Rig 4 is concerned I mean I have I did leave a comment I hope you've received that I did leave a comment um, on the YouTube page but just to clarify here's here the guitar rig setting here um, all you have to do is um, in the guitar rig 4 installation folder get the VST file and copy it uh, into the VST folder in in um, your Sona X1 producer edition um, installation uh, folder and then open up Sonar, come to Utilities, come down to Kquart Plugin Manager a box will open up and scan VST plugins and it will automatically scan through that through that VST folder um, in your Sonar X1 producer edition uh, installation folder um, I recommend closing Sonar then and then reopening it and then it should when you right click in the effects box come down to audio effects come down to VST plugins and it should be listed here and there it is Guitar Rig 4 and then what will allow, obviously that will enable you to um, record real time uh, guitar emulation sounds within Sonar then using the Guitar Rig 4 um, I hope that answers all the questions I don't think there's anything else um, so basically just to recap in the preferences make sure your devices are selected here if not if then if there's nothing selected here at all like there's if there's nothing in any of these boxes reinstall your sound card um, see if that works select the, whichever ones you want to use in sonar select them here choose which driver mode you want to use click OK make sure that your sound card is selected in the out in each outputs of each track or create a bus make sure the output of that bus sele um, says your sound card and then route all your tracks that you want to go through that bus um, and and uh, obviously multi, uh, multi select here and do it through the selected track output um, way here or through the drop down uh, list here and select bus one and that should that, that should do it uh, I hope that answers all your questions um, if you have any more please don't hesitate to leave them um, in the YouTube in the comment section or visit www.mcistudio.co.uk and uh, give me an email and I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I can um, I'll have the next tutorial section 3 up or part 3 up rather uh, very soon so stay tuned um, so until then have fun and uh, take it easy and I'll see you next time